Hey guys, hope you enjoyed those pictures at the beginning of the video. Um, you can see more great photographs from our explorations on Instagram at Focus Grim. Um, Andrew takes astonishing photographs inside the buildings that we explore. And this is part two, exploring um, the abandoned Palace Theater in Gary, Indiana. There's a safe I found in the wall. Let's take a peek and see if anything's in it. Or not. But in any case, uh, you could make a good case for this building having the potential to be haunted. Um, there was a boy that was murdered in front of a whole crowd of people. He, I believe he was a 10th grade uh, young man that was stabbed to death in the theater. Um, crime, violent crime, and uh, drug dealing were rampant around this area. There was also a girl, <coughs> a young woman that was attacked in this theater. Um, there's a very thorough history of this building and its ownership and its uh, openings, closings, and reopenings in the first part. There's also a lot of really cool stuff, so if I was you and you haven't seen the first part, I would really go back and check that out. This theater started its life showing uh, vaudeville shows, or having vaudeville shows, and later on turned into a uh, premier movie house when moving pictures came into style and uh, this theater opened in 1925 um, the gentleman that opened this had opened prior theaters I believe as early as um, at least 1910, perhaps even 1909. This theater was built to seat 3,000 guests. Um, you'll see shortly here when I go upstairs and look out over uh, the theater from the balcony just how huge it is the theater showed first run films in the northwest Indiana area after they played their engagements in Chicago In 1944, there were simply too many theaters in Gary, um, probably 12, and people had just too many to choose from, so they kind of suffered from decline. Another thing is the decline in the steel industry, the crash of the steel industry, and uh, the rise in crime. Again in 1968, at a showing of Bonnie and Clyde, Aldred Black was killed after a movie, and uh, 400 spectators actually watched him being stabbed to death. 
that also took its toll on the theater and its ability to uh, draw clouds. Some good old donkey booty. By 1970, that's really cool. But by 1970, the Palace Theater was um, just an afterthought and uh, no longer featured vaudeville shows, premiere movies. The only time people really heard about the theater when, was when crime was committed in and around it. Really cool tile, look at this. What do you suppose was in that? That kind of that recess there with the tile. Um, also on the channel, there's an apartment building a couple videos ago that's attached to this building. Um, the last video, the first part of this, tells about. The connection. In fact, that opening there on the other side you'll see in a second um, is how you get into the apartment building, or at least how we did. We walked through a hole in the wall to a staircase that almost looks identical to the one on this side, or runs at the same angle, and those are the apartments over there. Um, below these buildings, there are storefronts and a basement. We're trying to film as much as we could. There's a look right into the apartments. We're trying to film as much as we could, and we uh, were a little pressed for time, having one day to explore. And so, unfortunately, I didn't go down in the basement. Um, if we ever come back, I might, if, if we run out of things to do. But that may not be the case, because there's a, a lot here I want to see still also want to mention uh, thank you to the patreon supporters um, you know revenues really aren't a lot from the ads that play and uh, with some of the revenue or the uh, support I saved from patreon I was able to, to uh, fund this trip and uh, my personal budget right now really doesn't allow me to do a lot of this and uh, without the support I wouldn't be able to make these videos and put them up so everybody thank the patreon supporters and um, you know if you'd consider helping help us go and preserve more old buildings and make more entertaining videos I'd appreciate it see how huge this is there's another building over there through the doorway do you see that that's probably how you get on the roof. That one has stairs that look like they kept going, though I could be wrong. Damn, there's a hole in the floor. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, that would be fine, too. I, I might be able to hook you up with a PayPal link. Um, or any other support, you know, like the video, share the video, you know, definitely hit that like button and uh, sharing the channel with your friends, you know. There's a little wider angle view. It's a really big place, huh? Built to seat 3,000. Here's the projection room, or what's left of it. You know, if there was still single screen theaters open like this, if well, I know there are, but if some of these were still open, I'd, I'd probably come attend them rather. I've got to do that stairwell on the back. I thought I was just trying to lie. 
Did you see that other, uh... Did you see that, those stairways on the other side? Yeah. So I'd be happy to attend one of these theaters, even with the, uh... A couple of what? It probably goes through from the other side too. I'm going through. I'm going to get around. Well, I know, you, but I'm going right there. Yeah. I was just looking. Just Whoa. You okay? Yeah. Oh. Damn. Even with the lack of choice of uh, movies, I'd still would love to attend these theaters. get there from the other side anyway, you know what I mean? might have been a store, look. There's a shoe poster with all the models, dude. That's not out of a um, summer of 1971. Look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, the engine. The mug, the Tisa, the stroller, the Melody! Sorry, we're probably gonna get fucking gang right now that I did that. Yeah, this is a store, dude. You're right. Look at that. Look. Okay. Sorry about that clicking noise, guys. I will make sure and uh, get rid of that in uh, future exploring ventures. What's his name? Jesus. Dude, Andrew, you're not going to believe this, bro. You have to believe this shit, bro. No, that's... Here's what you're not gonna believe. Oh my god. We could've walked straight in here.
What's his name? Jesus. At one point I read in the 80s they cleaned up the front of this building um, when Donald Trump agreed to hold a, I guess, Miss USA pageant or something here. And they said at one point there were uh, paintings of the Jacksons or the Jackson 5 all over the front of the building um, where they had boarded things up. I, They aren't there anymore. Um, so... Uh, Whoa! And in fact, the Jackson 5 never did perform at this theater. Uh, thanks a lot, Patreon supporters. I appreciate it. These videos are here because of you.